Hey there, fellow farmers, and welcome back to Zilonka Survival on Zilonka. And as you can see, the graphics looks a lot better. I've upgraded my PC, and um, it, uh, yeah, I think it looks a lot better. I definitely think that the stuff like the grass looks way better than in uh, FS22. And I think it's just mostly lighting, to be honest. I think that's ultimately the biggest difference in um how how the game looks the graphics wise and how it feels so that's pretty cool there's a bit of a not quite a lag but every now and then there's a bit of a stutter and i don't necessarily think that is down to the graphics i think that is or the or the pc i think that's just the game loading so for the most part it's pretty smooth and it looks pretty good all right what's uh they look tiny now wow they also look like ducks or pigeons. Oh. No, they, they, they look like chickens. Okay, they're just tiny chickens. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, that is going well here. We've got we've got enough food for them for a while. And their health is 30, so they're going to keep growing. And uh, eggs were, will eventually stop popping up there. Not quite yet, because they're too young yet. Or too young still. Now, I need to kind of decide what I'm going to do. Not kind of. I need to decide what I'm going to do with this grass here. I am not 100% sure what I want to do. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll figure it out. I think, hmm, I don't know. It's a, it's a hard decision. I need to also make sure that my mic's volume is low enough so I'm not screaming in your ear. So um, give me a second. Okay, so that should be good. I have put up filters and stuff, but uh, I've had to reinstall Windows, and it seems like some of the things aren't happy with that. Hmm. I don't know. So we've sold the bales. I've got to put the trailer back and figure out what we're going to do with the grass. Part of me kind of just wants to, part of me wants to do it. Part of me wants to cut it, bale it, sell it again, because that was quite a good income. And theoretically speaking, the grass that we've got here will be slightly more than, no, actually, no, it would have, would be fairly similar. I don't, I don't know. Maybe just do normal bales instead of the wrapped bales. Let's have a quick look. If we look at uh, what we've got for specials or sales, there's nothing much there. But then if we go to balers, square balers are super expensive, but we can we can lease that one. And then potentially a wrapper like that. 180 now, that won't, won't work. So if we lease this, what's that? That's three grand. So much money. Um, we lease the wrapper. That is, let's call that four grand. To be honest, I don't think it'll be worth it because we'll only get about six grand from it and we still have to lease the mower, which isn't too bad. That's quite quite cheap. 800 or 600. So yeah, you're looking at about four and a half to five grand. And we'll only make a grand from that. Honestly, I I think it's worth it just because of that one grand extra. But yeah, I uh, I think we're going to do that this one last time. Uh, $688 for that. And then we're going to we're going to have to figure out something else to plant in the meantime and uh, fix Oh, I'll find a plan. Sorry, I'm struggling. Uh, my computer is making a lot of noise. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it is loud as hell. Um, you know what I might also do? Is buy something like this. Because, I mean, it's quite expensive. We don't need the platform. And we definitely don't need the wide tires. So eight grand. It is quite expensive, to be honest. It is. It's. It's very expensive. Maybe there's even a cheaper truck. But I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I don't necessarily want to hand back the trailer just yet. Although I probably should, because we're not really going to be using that. And I'll also now just grab a baler as well. So what I might actually be doing, able to do, is do it in one go. If you think about it, because I'm going to be mowing with one with the front. I could potentially be bailing with the rear. I don't know if the tractor's going to be strong enough to pull that though. We'll have to see. Ooh, the tractor's quite loud again. Give me a second. 
All right, so I've turned the tractor volume in game down. Wow, the roads look way different. That is much better. The graphics are a lot better. I'm happy with this. This is much, much better graphics. They look way, way better, way cooler. All right, um, so obviously I've had to reinstall my entire PC because once you change the motherboard and the CPU, it, uh, it requires a new installation of Windows, which is annoying. But that also does mean that uh, some of the settings and stuff have changed. So if uh, for the next maybe video or two, there might be a couple of changes, a couple of here and there, I'll go, oh, give me a second and I'll fix something. And uh, hopefully, or hopefully that will not last too long and it will get sorted fairly quickly. All right. Um, but yeah, this looks way better, way cooler. So much, so much more realistic. I like it. I really, I really like it. Um, right. So we need to lease the baler as well for now. It would have been cool if you could like if you have a good relationship with the dealership like you you lease from them you know after 10 times you your your price goes down a little bit you know that would have been really cool all right let's quickly lease the baler oh and i don't necessarily empty okay no so we need do need a netting standard net will be fine all right that is fine, 61, that, oh, we're not going to buy it, we can't buy it, uh, 3,122, all right, oh, that's a, so, so expensive, all right, there are some mods, I will be adding some mods over time, um, I'm not sure how many mods I want on this yet, I kind of want to play so we use the non-modded things, you know, we use the actual in-game implements for a bit, but, We'll see. We'll see. All right. Let's carry on. This will be the last time we cut this grass. We're going to plow that literally on this day. On this day, the field is plowed. Oh. oh, whoa. Dude, I know it's a... Go on, man. Go on, sir. I know it's a, it's a, it's a pedestrian crossing, but at least look. If there's a tractor speeding down the road... You might want to just double check it, you know? Is it going to stop? Anyway. <laughs> well, I'll see you at the pump. Alrighty, we are going to get going pretty much immediately. And um, we're going to try and do it all in one go. I don't know if it's going to work. But we're going to try and do it. I think if I do that... No, that doesn't lower... Oh, it does. Okay, cool. Happy days. Alright, and we'll turn it on. Turn it all on. Let's see how this works. All right, it does pull. It's struggling. But it does do its job. It does do it, that's for sure. To be honest, I don't know if this... This might be slower. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know. We'll uh, quickly change the... That one. And make sure that it... Uh, turn on automatic drop Z. At some point in the future, I will probably know what the all of the buttons off the top of my head, but not quite yet. All right, um, because this is so painful and this is going so slow, we'll uh, we'll just let it go and I'll uh, time lapse it. It's going to be a while, so uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride.
I've been trying really, really, oh, really hard to get this last bell, and I finally got it. Absolutely worth it. Whoa, why is that? Oh, it's still picking up. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm not too worried about this. I'm just going to clean it up. But yeah, that, uh, that's nine bales, which is one more bale than we got last time. So it's going to be a bit more worth it this time. And that is why I really, really worked hard to try and get that last bale. <laughs> I've been driven, driven, driving up and down and up and down for a while now trying to get that. So yeah, we got it. We're good. We're good and golden. Now we're going to hand this back. And then I was thinking of maybe handing back the trailer and then getting a... A uh, fork sort of thing so um, one of these because we can buy them but we can also lease them for super cheap and we'll just you know it's going to be a bit longer of a trip every time but i feel like that's okay all right let's hand back these uh the trailer that one we're handing oh we bought that oh we bought that okay great but uh how much can we sell it for Four grand. I'm kind of feeling we're going to do that. That's a bit of wasted money. But I feel like it's worth it because we're... Um, we're not really going to use it very often. We're going to use it for... For um, the eggs, to sell the eggs. But then at the same time, we also still need the tractor for that. And I don't really want to be doing that. We could potentially... If we sell that, gets us back to 12k, which is great. And then buy or lease the other thing when we need it. We still need to lease the baler as well. Mm, let's have a look at sales quickly again. Anything? Oh, that thing is the other, other one's gone. That's all right. That's all right. All right. Because um, the problem with that is that we now then need a front loader on here on this tractor and i don't know if we can do that when it's a leased tractor not sure anyway right we need to lease a, a wrapper so let's go get a wrapper and it's going to be that one nice and cheap we're going to lease it for 800 dollars okay and we're still actually pretty good to be honest that's pretty good we're, st we're still in a good place i'm not too worried that will be nine bales if we can sell it at about the same price we did before that's going to be a good good little income uh, and then i need to make sure i plant I, I cultivate start cultivating prepping planting the uh field for probably wheat because we've got chickens so it's probably going to be a bit be wheat so that we can get some feed for the chickens i'm kind of thinking how else we're going to really make money i think the biggest money maker at this point will be the two greenhouses the mushrooms so we'll just keep doing that those two alone we're not getting any more but we'll keep doing that they'll just keep ticking around or ticking over and we'll get the we'll buy more fields and then on the more on the other fields the next fields we'll just we'll just continue to you know do other harvests i want to try loads of uh, different harvests uh, or different crops different fruit so uh, i'm very excited about that one thing i've definitely noticed in uh, the game now into fs25 compared to fs22 is how the snow appears and dis and disappears it's not just a you know it snows for a bit and then pff, there's snow and then you know it doesn't snow for a bit and pff, snow's gone <laughs> it's a lot more gradual i think unless i've missed something but i feel like it's a lot more gradual which is quite cool and uh, the lighting is definitely like the clouds and all of these the, the lighting's insane with the with the new game clouds look way more realistic and then the effect that it has like on the road you can see the sun kind of dancing around it's awesome very very cool very impressive looking game now okay we're here for the first one and uh it should automatically pick it up there we go and i'm gonna make sure i put them oh actually we can put them down here mm, yeah we can put it all down here this will be our yard for now it's a good little yard good 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 all right let's put this ooh, let's just make sure we can actually maneuver around them as we need to so let's put it down here we're gonna drop that here 
Probably gonna struggle to get this next one. No, we'll be alright. Good. Alright, and this will make it easier as well to load, because this, uh, this is a lot more even ground than on the road. And also, it gets it all in one location, so I don't have to worry about um, moving them, and I can I can start working on the field. Because uh, we're going to cultivate it fairly soon. I'm going to literally just get all of these bales wrapped, and then I'm going to cultivate it. Oh, there we go. So I think it's nine. See down there. Three, three wrap. Yep, that's nine. Nine bales. That's great. That's going to be a good little income for us. Okay. Okay, that is all the bales wrapped and ready to go. So we're going to pretty much hand back all of our equipment that we're leasing because uh, currently we're not going to need it. For, actually, no, we will need it. That is an absolute lie. I uh, was thinking I really want to, but no, we do have to uh, cultivate this and get rid of this. So yeah, we're going to pretty much have to jump into that now. So I'm going to hand back the wrapper. Where is that? That vehicles. Oops, oh, my mouse is freaking out. There we go. Um, go well. Go go well. Go wheel. Ah, I think I've said that before. It would have been cool if it was go well, but hey, it is what it is. And we just got some money. Okay, so that's clearly the mushrooms getting sold which is cool which is very cool all right let's get to cultivating this field shouldn't take too long well it's gonna take a while but <laughs> actually yeah I'm trying to think how long this video is gonna be if we if we this will be the third time lapse of the video i don't necessarily want to do that Mm, let's have a quick look at the water state for the um, water. Still pretty good. Still good. Don't really have to worry about that. Yeah, water is still good. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. And we could maybe just go grab some more water just to make sure that that's all good and all golden. We don't have to worry about that. Fill them up. Pick that up good cute and we can dump a little bit of water in there it wasn't much left but that's all right all righty luckily there's uh the river is really close and i'm also starting to learn the map now so it's uh it's cool i also wonder it would how cool would it be if let's not drive into the river again you guys remember that uh how cool would it be if the uh water froze over Oh, that would be so cool, wouldn't it? I think that would be pretty difficult to program, though. Crazy how quick that drops off. <laughs> it's quite a deep river. All right. That's full. Let's, uh, we should be able to fool most, uh, or all of it now. Almost all of it. Which would be good. <clears throat> I don't know why my voice is so croaky today. I'm sorry for that. I have been working all morning, so uh, from 6 a.m. this morning. So, well, it's not that you, you guys matter. It's 9 a.m. now, so it's not that it's three hours of work, but still, um, it has been a, a lot of talking and screaming. So, 
That's maybe why? I don't know. All right. That should be filled. Cool. Happy days. All right. We're going to call the episode there. And uh, in the next episode, we'll um, cultivate and sort that out. So I'll see you guys next time.